Welcome to my first video on this channel, Ancient Empire. Let's dive into the fascinating world of the Romans. Ever pondered who the Romans were and how they managed to build one of the most powerful empires in history? Let's delve into that. The Romans originated from a humble beginning. Their story starts with a small Latin village on the banks of the Tiber River in Italy, around 750 years before the Common Era. Over time this village transformed into a powerful city-state, known as Rome, and eventually it expanded into an empire that spanned from the British Isles to the Near East. At the heart of the Roman society was their government. The Romans pioneered a new form of governance, a republic, where citizens voted for their leaders. This was a radical idea at the time, and it laid the foundation for modern democratic systems. Roman economy, another pillar of their society, was incredibly diverse. It was largely based on agriculture, but trade and manufacturing also played significant roles. Rome's strategic location and vast network of roads enabled to become a major trading hub in the ancient world. The Roman military, a well-oiled machine, was instrumental in expanding and securing the empire. The legions, Rome's military units, were highly disciplined and employed advanced tactics and technology, making them nearly invincible on the battlefield. Roman culture was a blend of original ideas and borrowed concepts, particularly from the Greeks. They excelled in architecture, engineering, literature and law, leaving an indelible mark on Western civilization. Among the many famous Romans, two stand out, Julius Caesar and Augustus. Caesar, an exceptional military leader, played a crucial role in the downfall of the Roman Republic. Following his assassination, his adopted son, Augustus, rose to power. Augustus is credited with ushering in a period of peace and prosperity, known as the Pax Romana, marking the zenith of the Roman So. The Romans were an extraordinarily influential civilization, but even the mightiest of empires can fall. Rome didn't grow into a powerful empire overnight. There was a period of prosperity and growth known as the Pax Romana. Spanning from the reign of Augustus in 27 BC to Marcus Aurelius in 180 AD, this golden age was marked by relative peace and stability. It's during this time that Rome truly flourished, expanding its borders and strengthening its influence across the globe. Imagine a time when the Roman Empire with its advanced infrastructure was the center of civilization. The Pax Romana saw the construction of roads and aqueducts, the implementation of a uniform system of laws, and a thriving economy. The arts and culture flourished, with literature, architecture and philosophy reaching new heights. Yet, as with all golden ages, it wasn't meant to last. The Pax Romana provided the bedrock for Rome's greatness, but it also harbored the seeds of its decline. However, the Golden Age could not last forever. The seeds of decline were already sown. Why did such a powerful empire, which stood firm for hundreds of years, eventually fall? This is a question that has puzzled historians for centuries. The fall of the Roman Empire was not the result of a single event, but a series of factors that culminated in its eventual decline. Firstly, political instability was a significant contributor. The empire was vast, and governing such a large expanse was no easy task. The frequent changes in leadership caused by assassinations and power struggles created a volatile political climate. This instability was further exacerbated by the division of the empire into eastern and western halves in the late 4th century, a move that weakened the empire's unity and strength. Economic troubles were another driving force behind the empire's fall. The empire's vast size required immense resources to maintain. The constant wars, building projects, and maintenance of the empire's infrastructure put a significant strain on the treasury. The economy was further destabilized by inflation, trade deficits, and a decline in agriculture. Military issues were also at play. Rome's armies were stretched thin across its vast borders, making it difficult to defend against external threats. The increasing reliance on foreign mercenaries who had little loyalty to Rome further undermined the strength of the Roman military. Lastly, social decay played a part in Rome's downfall. The empire's moral fabric began to unravel as corruption and decadence became commonplace. The widening gap between the rich and the poor, coupled with a decline in civic duty, led to social unrest and disunity. All these issues, combined with the pressure from invading barbaric tribes, led to the eventual fall of the Roman Empire. The once mighty empire which had stood as a beacon of civilization and a testament to human achievement, was reduced to a shadow of its former self. And so, the mighty Roman Empire, once the ruler of the known world, met its end. 
the fall of Rome, is a stark reminder that even the most powerful empires are not immune to decline and collapse. Despite its fall, the Roman Empire left a lasting legacy that continues to shape our world today. The Romans gifted us a legal system that forms the bedrock of Western jurisprudence. Concepts such as innocent until proven guilty and the right to a fair trial are direct descendants of Roman law. But the Romans didn't just stop at law, they shaped how we speak. Yes, Latin, the language of Rome, is considered a dead language today, but its echoes are heard in English, Spanish, Italian, French, and many more. And who can forget the architectural marvels? The Romans mastered the art of building domes and arches, techniques that are still widely used in modern construction. Their government system too, particularly the concept of a representative republic, has profoundly influenced modern political systems. So the Romans may have fallen, but their legacy lives on, echoing through the ages. As we've traveled through the rise and fall of the Romans, I hope you found this journey as fascinating as I have. If you've enjoyed this deep dive into history, don't forget to show your appreciation by hitting the like button. And if you're eager for more historical explorations, do subscribe to Ancient Empire. We'd love for you to join us on our next adventure through time. And remember your thoughts, opinions, and insights matter to us. So, do share what you think about this video in the comments below. Your feedback is not just welcome, but highly valued. Until we meet again on the next historical journey, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep the spirit of history alive with Ancient Empire.